Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I want to show you guys how to draw Gypsy Danger from Pacific Rim. Now, to start off with this, we're going to begin with the head. So starting up here towards the top of our paper, I want to draw a line that's just going to go down like this. And then on the same side over here, I'm just going to draw another line down. Then right in between here, I'm just going to draw a little V shape. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that just kind of curves down. And then I want to do the same thing on this side. And then this time I'm going to make kind of like a little U, um, upside down U shape or a little sad face to connect them. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up on each side. And then I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of goes up and then down like this for the head. Then right across here, I'm just going to draw a little curved line. Then right here on the head, I'm just going to draw a little line that goes down and then back up kind of like a V-shape. And then I'm going to make a line that goes down here and a line that goes down here. And then two little lines that go right down the center. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that curves in here and then another one that curves in over here. Then I'm going to make a line that goes up, down, and then just connects. Now back here he's got this little kind of like protection behind his neck. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to draw a line that goes up and then one over here. Then I'm just going to kind of curve this around to here and make sure it connects. Now right here I'm going to draw two lines that go down and then I'm just going to connect them and then I'm going to put a third line right in the middle. Then right here I'm going to draw a line that goes out and then just kind of curves in and another one that goes out and then kind of curves in. Now right below this we're going to draw the kind of little thermonuclear you know core of Gypsy Danger. So I'm just going to start by drawing a nice big circle right in the middle of the body. And then I'm going to draw a smaller circle inside of here to kind of show where the core is going to be. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just goes down. And then another one that's just going to curve down to here. Then I'm going to curve down like this even more on each side. And then I'm just going to curve in on each side like that, just right back up to the core. Then I'm just going to make a line here and then a line right here. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes in, up, and then comes back over. Same thing here, go in, up, and then just back over. Then right here, I'm going to make a little line that goes in, and then do the same thing over here. We're going to be repeating a lot of the same things on both sides. Then I'm just going to draw two lines that curve up to here, and same thing here. And then I'm going to make two little lines going down here. Now, starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line down and then a line down right here. And then right here, I'm going to draw two lines going down, and I want them to be longer than these lines. And then I'm just going to connect them just like this. And then this one's going to connect right across. Now, 
Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes in, and this one's going to go out a little bit. We're going to go down on each side. Then we're going to come down at an angle. And then right here, I'm going to make kind of like a big rectangle shape right on the waist and make sure these are connected here. Then I'm going to draw a little line that goes down and over, and then another one that goes down and over here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to go over, down, and then back in. Same thing here, over, down at an angle, and then back in. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. And then it's just going to kind of curve and come back up to here. Same thing here. You want to start right about here. Just go down, kind of line up same spot, go in, and then just kind of curve up to here. Then right here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to go down. It's going to curve around and then come all the way up to here. Same thing here, just kind of curve out, go down, curve around, and then just come right up to here. Then I'm just going to draw two little lines here to connect the legs. And then we'll make a little line that goes across on each one. Then right here, I'm going to draw two lines that go out on each leg. Then we're just going to curve in, or should say go in at an angle. And then I'm going to kind of connect these with a little bit of a curved line at the bottom. And then I'm going to draw two angled lines at the ends here. And then just go in on each one. And then just go right across for the foot. And then I'm going to draw a little line that goes out and in, kind of like a triangle on each side. And then I'm going to put kind of like a little rectangle shape on the inside part of each one. Now, let's move up here towards the arms. Now, to draw the arms, what I'm going to do is starting right up here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. It's going to follow the curve of this, kind of come around, up, and then over like this for the shoulder. So we're going to start up here, kind of line up by the neck, go down, curve right around the body, go over, you want to go up, and then curve right back around. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, over, and then back up. Same thing here, goes down, over, and then back up. I'm kind of putting them out a little bit so we don't run into the legs. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, over, then it's going to go up, and then in. Same thing here, we're just going to go down, over, out, and then we're going to come right back in. Starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes out on each side. Then we're going to make a line that goes up, and that's going to come down to here, and then connect. Same thing here, go up, come down to here, and then we're just going to connect. Then right here, I'm just going to make a line that's just going to go down, over, and then up. Kind of like a little square, same thing, down, over, and then up. Then I'm going to make a little curved line here, and a little curved line right here for one of the fingers. And then a curved line here, 
here and here, and then a curved line here, here, and then one right there. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down really far towards the legs. It's going to come to a point and then come back up for like his little sword. And then I'm just going to put some little spikes on the ends of it, just like this. Okay, so here is our basic drawing of Gypsy Danger. Now what we need to do is we need to add all of the different details, and there are a lot of them. So I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part. If I go too fast, just make sure you hit the pause button and slow down to catch up. Now, I'm just going to add some details over here. So I'm going to start with some little lines here. Then I'm going to add two more little lines up here. I'm going to put in some little dots that just go right around the core here. And then I'm going to make two lines that come into here. I'm going to draw a line here and then a line right there. And then just put some diagonal lines on here. Put another diagonal line on each side of here. I'm going to draw a diagonal line here and a diagonal line right there. I'm going to put a couple little lines in here. I'm going to draw a line that goes down and then over to here. Down and then over to here. little curved line up here and then curved line right there. Two little diagonal lines there. I'm going to put a couple little half ovals on each side of here and then some bumps on top of them so you can just make two full ovals if you want. Right up here I'm going to draw a line that goes out and then it's going to come down same thing here, out and then comes down. And then I'm going to put a second line on top of it. And make a little rectangle here. And then a little line here with a couple dots in there. Two more lines coming down here. A little curved line on the top of each of these couple little lines coming down. Two lines coming down here with one going across. Same thing over here. Right here I'm just going to draw a line that goes in, down, and over. In, down, and over. Put a couple Lines going down, another one here. Draw this line down, put a couple little lines here. Make a couple little rectangle shapes here, one big one, one small one. Another little line down on each side. I'm going to bring this line all the way down to here and here. Now on the legs here, right here, I'm going to draw two oval or two half ovals on each side. A couple little lines on the inside of here. Curved line here and here. Little line that goes down. I'm going to kind of color it in a little bit more, make it a little bit darker. Curved line here, curved line here. Then right here I'm going to draw a line that goes down, over, and then up. Down, over, up. Two lines going down towards the foot. Two lines that go up here towards the knee.
Make another line that just kind of curves around. Line that goes down over and up on the foot as well. And then two lines that go down. Then up here the leg, I'm going to add a couple more little lines. A little line down here, one right here. A couple little rectangle shapes in here. And then right here on the feet, I'm just going to add two little half oval shapes. And there you go. There is your drawing of Gypsy Danger. This definitely was a little bit longer drawing. There was a lot of details on there and a lot of stuff to do. But there you go. If you guys like these videos, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.